Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Hello and welcome to another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Today we are going to discuss some of my favorite editing apps. And today our tea of choice is just a simple chocolate tea. And I use sweetened condensed milk. And that was all the milk that was used. I just wanted to keep it real simple today and just make a very quick video. So the few apps that I really, really enjoy using, I am going to use a screen recorder and using my iPad. And so let's get into this. So one of my top apps that comes with your devices, well, I know all my Apple devices, I got them with those apps, which was intro designer but you will get the light you would have to pay for the um, pro which I did and you have iMovie I really love iMovie but I don't use it constantly what I love to you is Keen Master but that app you would have to pay either monthly which is five dollars or yearly there is a greater fee so it all depends on what you want to do so what i would normally do with keen master is pay for like a month subscription and once that month is finished i would use i movie and intro designer to make my videos and if i don't feel to use any of the above um there are a few other apps that you could use i am not sure if they are available on android also but my main apps would be Keen Master, iMovie. I also like to use Bitmoji, but I use Bitmoji with um, motion portrait. So I would use my emoji and make my emoji talk, blink, laugh, you know. So I would use those two emojis together. And my logo, actually, I use... Um, bitmoji to get my logo created to my likeness and what i also did i use yodulu that app also you have to pay for but there is a light and if you but if you want to access all the options you pay your i think it's three dollars i paid i think three or five dollars i can't remember but i i did you do have to pay but it isn't more than 4.99 or something like that in itunes so yes you can purchase yodel is an awesome app when coming to removing backgrounds if you're just removing backgrounds you would just have to edit the photo but if but it's according to the photo because some photos you'll actually have to draw on the photo so those are the two options that i mainly use in yodel is to to edit photo or to draw on photo so the, e the easiest option in you, you doodle is to edit photo, especially if it's just one object alone in that photo and you just want, you just want a transparent background and you just want to put that photo into something, you should use that option instead of going through the whole drawing on the photo and then having to put it in the foreground and all of that. So it saves a lot of time when you're doing it that way. Okay moving on another app that i like is record it that is what is allowing me to screen record so you can see all the apps that i'm speaking about so that app i can't remember paying for that app though right but that is also a good app it helps like in for this what i'm doing here it is helping i am not sure how much of these apps are available on android so I'm not going to say yes, they are available on Android because I am not. One app I'm sure that is available on Android do is Keymaster because, yeah, that is available there. But for the rest, I'm, I'm not certain. So I'm not going to say yes, it's there and go because I, I don't, I am not certain about that. So um, those are some of my really top picks when coming to editing. And yes, there are a few that you would have to pay, but it would it would say because some of those apps you have to pay once, like you um you doodle you do have to pay after you pay that one time, 
um, intro designer, you do have to pay again. But as I said, Keen Master is one that you would have to pay for again because it's either monthly or yearly. And as I said, I don't use that if I am using, if I don't have the month and I don't have an iTunes card on my iPad or or any of my iPhone, Apple devices, I will not purchase one until I feel I'm ready. So I'll go and use just iMovie. You don't have to pay for that. You pay once and that's it. That's what I love about the iMovie, the Apple apps. Most of them that come with the device. You pay once and it's done. So another app that I really enjoy using also is would be Keynote because I, I really like to work with Keynote to do certain things like for ingredients purposes to show you what I'm using. So I, that's one app that I really like to use when putting down ingredients and stuff for my YouTube channel. So there you have it. Those are the apps that I really, really enjoy using when it comes to putting out content. They are very simple and easy. Yes, there are a few of those apps that you would have to pay some money for. Like Keen Master, it could be monthly, it could be you pay for a year subscription. Or there is Apple, Liver Apple that have their iMovie and intro designers. So, but the options there though are very, very... They're not much. options that you have on Keen Master is endless. I really, really love the options on Keen Master. But I just wish there was one fee that you pay for the subscription and you're done. This constant pain. I don't like apps like that. So that's why I kind of pay you know, the two apps. If I don't feel to put on an iTunes card and, you know. So, but Keen Master is a really good app. The options are endless and really good options. I'm not saying I'm movie, op um, I'm movie and um, intro isn't good. But there is only so much you could do, especially with Intro Designer, because the options that I've given you is so, especially for somebody like me who doing a lot of cooking on YouTube, Intro Designer doesn't give me much options as to what I might have in store for what I want for my intro or my outro, you know what I mean? They don't have much things like that, mostly holiday stuff, birthday stuff, but you know, so yes, that's why I said Keen Master has everything in it. So it's, it's kind of worth the five dollars or the amount that you would pay for a whole year subscription. But would I do it? Absolutely not. So I do hope you enjoy watching this very quick video, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Have an awesome week, bye. Welcome to another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Today I'm going to discuss feeding tubes and intermittent fasting. The reason for this topic is because I got an email from a subscriber who watched a video of mine with me mentioning that I do intermittent fasting and I can't swallow one and that kind of thing. So she wants to know, do I have a tube? Did I ever have a tube? How do I do intermittent fasting? and not properly swallowing. So let's start this conversation.